Christopher. He says uh, he sent me another email. He was on a on a writing binge. That's why this is more Christopher's uh, video than mine. As a follow up to my last topic, there are tons of profiles from wall hitters who have finally divorced or buried their last husband and now spent most of or all of their time not working, but traveling on the ex hubby's money. Right? I'm sure that's right. That's where they got a lot of these glorious pictures from. Maybe they found a boyfriend here or there that paid for it. But now they're looking for someone who likes to do that. See, these women are irresponsible. They do not know how to make money, manage money, make money grow. At the very least, they don't know how to save money. By save, I mean literally save, as in not spend it every day. As a result, they run out of money. They need to go find another boyfriend, another husband, another another gold mine for them to harvest from. And a lot of them like to use as an attractant this I travel, right? Because it makes them look attractive. Like, wow, they must be wealthy. They're on their own. They've got it together, right? This woman's got her shit together. She gets to have a lot of fun. On my, my little trip with my son, I met a German woman and her daughter. They were very nice. But she was just a little too friendly in a weird kind of way, and I knew. I knew she's looking for another one. Didn't have me fooled for a second. All right. Finally, Chris's pièce de résistance. Women and expensive travel. It is not about spending quality time with you. No, indeed. Chris is absolutely right. If it were, you could go anywhere regardless of how extravagant or not. Even a drive to a nearby national park or simple weekend in Florida or sunny California. It is about you spending hard-earned money and lots of it on them so they can fill, fulfill their fairy tale fantasies about who they are. It is also about showing their friends when a jack, what a jackpot they hit by getting you as a husband or boyfriend. Right? <clears throat> So he kind of goes back into some of the things I talk about there. Yeah, it's about keeping up with the Joneses. It's about showing others how successful they are. My ex used to sit at the computer. I'd walk in after doing chores, and she'd be sitting there looking at fucking Italy, right, uh, Mexico, all over the world. And I'd go, what are you doing? And she would get instantly defensive. Well, I'm just window shopping. And I go, no, you're not. Yes, I am. I go, it's bullshit. There is no such thing as window shopping for a vacation. There's no such thing as window shopping downtown. You, you walk by the window, the window gets your attention, you look in the window, and then you end up going and buying something there. It may not be the biggest thing they have, but you're still going to buy. Women are creatures of habit. And when you find one who has a habit like this, you know she's going to continue to make it happen. She's not going to stop. She's not going to say, I've had enough. I'm full. Right? It's, thank you, sir. May I have another? If you're lucky enough to get the thank you, and if you're lucky enough to get the sir. <laughs> you know, even if you want to be a... Uh, uh, a red pill pump and dump or a blue a purple pill you know love them and leave them every couple of years you're still gonna pay through the nose for this type of stuff you know why do it you know why do it is my question if I'm gonna travel it's gonna be for my benefit not because some tart batted her eyelashes at me and tried convincing me how great traveling is. Here's an idea. If you want to date women and they're all about travel, say, great, great, I'd love to take a two-week vacation with you, honey. Yeah, yeah, let's go down to Cusco, Peru. That'd be great. Tell you what, find out what it costs. When she tells you, say, great, divided by two, I'm only gonna have to pay eight grand. Great, you come up with eight, and when you're ready, we'll go. <laughs> right. 
she's going to look at you like you just grew a second head out of your shoulder. Right? That is not her plan. Her plan is for you to pay for it. You know, a really clever woman will say, yeah, yeah, let's make that happen. And she'll start working on you. You know, they don't always give up. In fact, I don't think they ever give up. If women gave up on getting what they want out of men, why is it that women still try to hit on me? I've said on this channel a lot, I'm not interested in any women. Yet there's still this, this thing out there that women have to try. And trust me, they're trying it. zero interest but they're still trying they don't give up women and travel these are some of the worst types of gold digging whores out there because they'll get you they'll get you all romanticized you'll end up marrying them if you can you can satisfy their wants enough she'll tell you what they want they want to go on a trip a year two trips a year they want to go on a big trip and two small trips Oh yeah, they can spend the money. And you will pay. What makes this worse is you'll blow five grand, ten grand, twenty grand a trip. That sounds like a lot of money, and it is. That's your effort. That's your hard work. That's your life. And she'll spend it. Right? And you get no return on it when the divorce papers come. You don't get to say, well, you get that house and I get this house. Oh no, you've lost that completely. You have memories of a trip taken with a woman who turns out to hate your guts. And you find out exactly how much they want to hate you when they divorce you. <laughs> and like all these women that, uh, that have sent poor Christopher, right? <laughs> their profiles, pictures that are, are weird where the woman's missing half her arm because the guy who paid for that trip was in that picture with her and is now missing. I love that. I love seeing pictures of women that they have with people cut out of the picture. It just, what does that tell you? Right? I have pictures of myself and my sons with my ex-wife. I did not cut her out of the picture. I was married to her. That was a trip we took with my kids. I can't excise her out of the memory. Right? So why bother? Why bother trying to fool other people? But that's what they do. They want you to imagine that you're in the picture with them. Right? Amazing. <laughs> yeah. And I especially like the part about they, they act like it's a talent. Right? They do. They, they, the first thing they do is they run to their friends and say, you wouldn't believe the amazing vacation I just found. As if they discovered a gold mine or a, a field of diamonds. They run back and tell everyone, oh my God, they didn't do anything. They pushed some buttons on a computer and it told them what it cost. But they make it sound like they found the deal of a lifetime. Like they're going to get paid to go on vacation. <laughs> And in reality, they do. You pay them, right? You think you're gonna go have a romantic time as a man, hold hands, run down the beach, right? Lay in the sand and kiss as the waves come up and lap you, all that Marlon Brando bullshit. If you're lucky, you're gonna get to do those things. But to her, it doesn't mean shit. You're just the next guy. You're the next guy. And if you're wealthy enough, then you can be lucky enough to marry her and have you, her demand that every single time. Every time she walks past a window and starts window shopping, you're going to hear about it. One of the things I've noticed, guys, as MGTOW, as an older MGTOW, is the peace and quiet I have in my life. This entire weekend has been peaceful. No one yelling, no one screeching, just relaxation. Went to the store, got some materials to fix some stuff, cleaned up. 
I did my chores, starting to winterize things. Peace. Peace. When you've got a woman in your life, you will not have peace. Right? You'll think you're doing everything right. But you're going to be frantic, frantically trying to please her. What is life about? These are questions MGTOW need to ask themselves before they get into a relationship with a woman. Is life about traveling with her? Or is life about living to your satisfaction? Right? Do you have to pay her to get the satisfaction you want? Right. Just for shits and giggles. I went on a website, found hookers, escorts in Hawaii. Right? If you want to go to Hawaii and have a woman be there for you, or probably any place on the planet. You can pay a thousand dollars and have her with you two or three days. Right, you've got a guide, a tour, some arm candy, and some bedroom fun for a couple of nights, a couple of days. And that's a lot cheaper than taking a woman that's going to reluctantly do things you want and make you pay for everything she wants. Right? Women are already there if that's what you want to do. But the mainstream story is eHarmony, Match.com, where you go to find a woman who goes by the moniker of, you know, love to travel. <laughs> right? You're going to go and you're going to pay to fly her around the world. If you want to go someplace cool and have a woman, they're already there. You just need to take care of yourself. And the woman will be there waiting for you. Made to order. And eventually, you can take your Android with you. You can just put them in the cargo hold. A lot cheaper that way. Even cheaper than prostitutes. <laughs> All right, guys, you have a great day, a great week. I do have more really, really shocking and scary material coming. Uh, done my research now. I just need to be in the right mood for it because it is dark and scary. And I'm still feeling relaxed and lighthearted, and I wanted to share this email from Christopher. You guys have a great day. Prost. I hope you have a great week, at least a good start to it. Remember, you're the man. You indeed are the prize. You have the penis, and you make it happen. You make the rules, and you make the decisions. Right? Decision to throw that bitch away. Right? You don't need that shit. All right, guys, talk to you later.